Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. So it's another Dancing on Ice. We're at week six already, I can't believe it. There's only four more to go after this and it's getting so exciting. It's like kind of the best of the best doing at the moment. And again, there was a skate off which we'll go through at the end. So first up was the Vivian and Colin. Um, they skated to Mary Poppins, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Absolutely love Mary Poppins. Watch it every single year when it's on TV. Um, so yeah, I was really, really excited to see their routine. So I've written that the Vivian skated amazingly with such confidence this week because the Vivian was back in drag, which is how James feels the most comfortable. So James said last week um, that he feels the most comfortable being the Vivian that's his kind of persona um, and I feel like that's why he basically had a little bit of a stumble last week because he was concentrating and maybe felt a bit uncomfortable um, being on stage as himself because he has actually said that he does actually prefer to be on stage in drag so I've also put yeah um, he feels the most comfortable and it shows it was a perfect skirt and there was no near falls this week I think that happened because James was skating as himself. The Vivian did the judges challenges with ease and skated on the ice with some speed and got very high marks, nines, from all the judges which was very well deserved in my opinion. I love that the Vivian is totally dependent and skates so well alone but also skates really really well with Colin as well. Um, so yeah that's what I really do like about that. I feel like they're going to get 9.5 10s next week just because they skate so well together and the Vivian is improving as the weeks go on. So they got a whopping 36. Darren and Tippy was up next. They skated to Top Gun Danger Zone. I've written, I thought Darren skated quite well this week. What I like about Darren is he brings his personality and while he isn't the strongest skater in the competition, in my opinion, just remember it is just my opinion guys, you'll have your own opinion and yeah I'm not an expert but I just basically like to tell you guys what I see as the viewer. He isn't the strongest skater in my opinion but he always gives a good performance Darren skated slow in places but I feel he was just being extra careful. I do feel like Darren is improving with each week but we're at week 6 now which is more than halfway and there is a lot of talent in this competition. When Darren did the judges challenge he had to jump over his partner. Well he didn't have to, obviously they put that in the routine. So he jumped over Tippy um, and he nearly fell which was really nerve wracking because he was so close to her. Um, and it's like a 12 inch blade the skate on so that could have gone horribly wrong for Tippy. Overall though I do think he skated quite well and he is improving each week but we're at week 6 now which is more than halfway and there is a lot of talent in the competition. So I've said overall he did skate quite well and he's improving each week. So Darren got 28 this week which matched his highest score. Um, the next couple was Molly and Sylvan. And they skated to Ghostbusters. This week's skate was such a fun performance from Molly and Sylvan. I really did enjoy it. It was nice to see Molly skate a little bit more independently, but when she did skate independently, she looked quite scared. Um, and then when she skated again with Sylvan, she seemed to get her confidence back. Obviously in the lifts, she enjoys the lifts, I feel like. I feel like there was far too many lifts in this performance. If you want to see the performance, I think I'm going to link every single performance in the description box so you can watch them if you want to, if you're at all interested. I guess if you're watching this video, you are interested. Um, but I feel like there was far too many lifts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I like to watch lifts as much as the next person does. But I feel like Molly, as we're in week six, should be skating a little bit more independently. I absolutely love Molly Gallagher. Um, I don't watch Coronation Street so much now, but I used to watch it all the time. And I still watch it when um, 
I go to my mum's and I absolutely love her character in Coronation Street as well. This is not kind of a dig at Molly and it's just getting serious now in the competition and there's a lot of talent. Um, so that's basically my two cents worth there. So when she skated with a partner, Molly's confidence came back. There was a lot of lifts in this routine. I feel like there were too many. I would love to see Molly skate more by herself. In saying that though, she did get quite a high score and the audience thought she should have got a higher score. She got 30, that's reasonable. Um, so yeah, considering that um, you know she doesn't have much confidence when she's skating alone, I think she got quite a high score. So next up was Joey Essex and Vanessa. they skated to high school musical breaking free joey skated really well again this week no surprise there right he is one of the strongest skaters in the competition he did stumble at one point but then he regained his balance joey even did a cartwheel on the ice i feel like he's took a leaf out of niall's book incorporating a little gymnastics into the performance that was really really good to see it was quite funny at the end of the performance because they nearly had a little smooch and Joey made a bit of a joke saying you nearly got to witness our first kiss. This is only my thoughts and I've said this before but I feel like something is going on here. There sure is a lot of chemistry between the couple. They just look like they have real feelings about one another. They got great scores, 32.5. I'm not too sure what film that was meant to be out of. Um, Clabara just said, we're skating to Elvis this week. Is there a film called Elvis? I'm not keyed up on my Elvis knowledge, so if there are any Elvis fans watching this, please let me know in the comments. So Siva skated very well this week, especially as he was out sick last week. I thought maybe he wouldn't be as good as the performance he gave two weeks ago. And the reason I thought that is because he didn't have chance to do the rehearsal. So he missed a week's rehearsals, came back, and obviously he was recovering from the sickness he had. Nobody's actually said what what he's got, but he said that he's got a chesty cough, you know, make of that what you will. Um, so yeah, he was out sick for a week, but the performance he gave yesterday, guys, it was fantastic. And he skated with such speed. So Siva skated great by himself and then skated equally as good with his partner, which I love to see. Siva got a great score, his highest score today. In fact, it was 32.5. Next up was Carly and Mark and they skated to Love This. Toy Story, You Got a Friend in Me. And Carly is a joy to watch. I love this performance. It was just so much fun to watch. And she did the judges challenge with ease. She didn't seem as nervous as she has been in previous weeks. She just seemed to love skating this week and her confidence shone through. Carly just seemed so comfortable with this performance, which was lovely to watch. The scores this week was a very well deserved 36, which was Carly's highest score. Up next is Niall and Olivia and they skated to Mission Impossible. So what I've written about this one is Niall skated very well, he didn't do any gymnastics this week. So it disappointed me a little um, because in every other episode that I've seen, bar the first episode, he incorporated these gymnastics into the routine. I know he doesn't need to incorporate his gymnastics into the routine, but I feel like it gives us that little bit more, and that's what I like to see. I feel like Niall is known for his gymnastics. Maybe they wanted to concentrate on the judges' challenges, I'm not sure. But there was a judges' challenge last week, and he incorporated his gymnastics into that as well. Um, so I don't understand why they've decided to take it out. In saying that though, it was still a really great performance and there was a lot packed into the performance. I do actually really, really like it when he incorporates his gymnastics into the performance. Like I said in the notes there, I don't understand why they've taken that out. 
the previous week they brought gymnastics into it and that was fast paced as well so it's pointless guessing why they didn't decide to do it um, but that was just missing from the skating performance and it was like a bit like oh I really want to see some gymnastics now um, Nile also fell near the end when retrieving the diamond but managed to regain his balance so I put Nile nearly fell when retrieving the diamond but he managed to regain his balance he got great scores as always he got 35 um, so let's talk about the skate off now so Darren and Siva were both in the skate off with their partners this is what I've wrote Firstly, I don't agree that Siva was in the skate off this week. He's a great skater. He skated absolutely phenomenally, absolutely brilliant. I knew Darren would be in the skate off, and I thought Molly would be as well. As much as I love Molly, I do believe she should have been in the skate off, not Siva. Siva, in my opinion, is a more accomplished skater. Do I think the right person went? Yes, I think it was the right time for Darren to go as I think there is a lot of talent in the competition now and Darren is one of the slower skaters in the competition. So I feel like he's had six good weeks and it was just his time to go. I feel like it should have been between Darren and Molly to go in last night's episode. Let me know what you think. I feel like it, it becomes a popularity contest with reality programmes these days. Um, so it's about how many fans you've got because so basically how it works the skate of the people at home will vote and then the people that have got the two lowest votes will be in the skate off um and molly is very very popular coronation street is a popular show so i'm not surprised that she stayed in this week um but i feel like siva um is amazing so technically siva is amazing he skates so well um he is a better skater than Molly, so I feel like Darren and Molly should have been in that skate-off. I think Molly's going to be in next week's skate-off. Now, if she's not, there's something seriously wrong with this programme. And they've been accused of fixing the show before now. Um, so let's just see what next week brings. Let me know your predictions for next week. Who do you think is going to be in the skate-off? Who do you think is going to go? And I'll leave this here because there's not much battery left. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment for more content like this. Bye guys.